All right, let's take a look at the intro rhythm figure. I've got a couple of variations and some other little things you can change. Uh, the chords, E major 7, E6, E major 7. All right, this is variation number one. Um, towards the earlier side of Eyes of the World, you'll hear primarily the, uh, the E6 here. Okay, I tabbed out the downs and the ups, um, and there's some chukkas, some sort of ghost strums in there. I'm going to try and do this really slow. Chaka, so it'd be like down, down, up, down, chaka, up, 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 down, up, down, up is a chaka. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Okay, and sometimes you'll hear those chakas more than others, but the the rhythm. the hand is fast okay and this is like really from the wrist um, another thing about this is you'll hear the the low E string in there um, sometimes you hear it a lot where it's going with that whole pattern so if you listen you'll hear on the if you listen closely you'll hear on the E string you know kind of through it Okay, and we're really not playing the first string, we're playing everything but the first string. So I'm not actually barring, you know, my E major 7, I'm just fretting this note, and my pinky, something's always touching up against the high E string to mute it. Okay, so with a little bit less of the audible chuckas, that would sound... Okay, it's kind of a tricky um, set of changes. This uh, E6 can be a little tough. You can kind of, if you, you know, if you're used to playing an A minor, right? You can, in in your head, think of A minor and add the pinky to it, and it kind of helps you get at least these three fingers in line. But you want this E through the whole thing. You know, those chuckas give you a second too. I'm kind of using my palm a little bit. You'll hear that little, that little G in there sometimes. Um, but that's not entirely necessary. So E major 7, E6, E major 7. That's variation number 1. Variation number 2 is probably a little bit easier. Um, because it doesn't have that E6. It's got an E6-9. E6 with a 9 added. This is a great chord. Okay, so we've got our E. We've got our G-sharp major third. And we've got our 6 C-sharp. 
So, so far that's the same, right? This would be E6. But instead of E here, we're going to have F sharp there. So what we do is you get the third and fourth strings with the index finger, bar them, and then you get the E here on the seventh fret, fifth string with your middle finger, get the F sharp on the second string, seventh fret with your ring finger. Okay, and that sounds like this. Okay, I like the sound of that. I like the sound of both of them. All right, and of course the tempo of this song changed a lot over time. So sometimes it's really fast, and some of this detail gets lost. You know. It's going to sound like that. Um, man, they really play it fast sometimes. Um, I've got sort of a moderate tempo that's within the realm of, say, you know, earlier 70s up to, I don't know, 77 or so. Um, so that's two variations and a few other ideas on the uh on the intro riff